Hey everybody, I'm sorry, I'm late getting this review out. I'm, I'm a little dirty, I'm a little sweaty. Ever since Monday morning, I've been in the backyard digging a 12 foot hole to catch the love of my life. All right, so let's get into this. And this video is WG's fault. He sent me a little message, inspired me to get back on the YouTubes. This one might be controversial. I am done with The Last of Us TV show. I'm done. I'm going to stop doing reviews on it. Maybe I'll take a peek at it, but I'm definitely not going to review it. And by the end of the video, you're going to know why. And it's not the reason you think right now. You're thinking, oh, Eric's phobic. No, that's not the reason. I'm going to get into this. I'm going to get into that relationship uh, that was the focus of episode three. But I'm just done. I'm done. Um, all right, let's get into this. So episode one, my review is up there. I thought it was a good setup. I felt for Joel. I thought the show looked good, and I thought it was off to a good start. I was interested. I was invested. Episode two was boring. Uh, they're walking around, and yeah, it looked like the video game. It looked like uh, the boards from the video game, but not much happened, and eh, I was bored, pretty much. Episode three comes, and it focuses on the relationship uh, the gay relationship of a character that's barely in the video game, Bill, who I barely remember at all, and his boyfriend, Frank, who is mentioned but not in the video game at all. And that was the focus of episode three. Their relationship, their sexuality, I don't have a problem with. But the relationship, it didn't work for me. All right, so a lot of people really dug this episode. Uh, Chris Stuckman thought this was the greatest episode in the history of television. And uh, I checked out uh, Hit or Miss TV's video, and uh, he got really emotional watching this episode. And listen, I got emotional too. The showrunners knew what they were doing, pulling the heartstrings. I get it. I get it. But a big part of me wasn't buying this relationship, okay? Just, hmm, let me explain. So Bill, right? Bill is, uh, takes every precaution very calculated, sets traps around his house and around the, the neighborhood, catches this complete stranger in his hole, and uh, minutes later, invites him in to the house. And I thought that Frank uh, was way too charming. I didn't trust Frank. I thought, uh, yeah, something was up. Something was up. I thought maybe they were going to pull a twist and Frank was going to be a bad guy or something. Way, way too charming. I thought Bill would be uh, skeptical of that charm, but Bill fell for Frank, fell in love. Cupid must have been there and got him right there in that heart. And Bill just invites the stranger into the house. And then Bill turns his back on Frank as he plays the piano. I'm like, dude, you do not turn your back on a complete stranger during the apocalypse. You don't do that. Then he ends up like jumping in the sack with him, cooking him dinner, and he stays. He stays for over a decade um, and is the love of his life. It was just way too soon for Bill, way too fast for Bill, in my opinion. I also thought like the makeup was off or their dress was off. I don't know. It just, I know Bill looks kind of like that in the video game, but something was off there. Let me know in the comments. I just, I don't know how to articulate that. And then we got the physical relationship between these two. Again, I have no problem with homosexual relationships portrayed in film and television. But are they done well ever? Ever? Um, it's like <clears throat> Hollywood wants to like, hey, look, we have that there, but it's always homogenized. It's always like safe. It, 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 they never really go for it. They half-ass it. And here we get like these kisses between these two actors that are like, Grade schoolers kissing for the first time on the playground. Now, listen, I hear some of you saying, oh, Eric, you totally don't understand. Bill was new uh, to this, and that's why he was awkward and perhaps cringe. And, uh, okay, maybe the first time. But remember when they're, like, you know, kissing uh, near the strawberries? And, uh, it's again, it's the same, like, little, like, who kisses like that? children maybe kiss like that. I want to see them smash some strawberries, all right? <laughs> all right, so a lot of people liked another thing that I did not like. A lot of people thought something was very beautiful that I thought was stupid. The suicide. 
the dual suicide because their love was so great. So uh, Frank it has some illness that's incurable. And he says, you know, Bill, this is by the end of this day, you're going to help me kill myself because I've had enough. I know the pain's too much or something like that. And then Bill, uh, Bill by the end saying, no, I want to take the overdose and, and die in bed with you. We will die together. So it's going to be like a dual suicide. But Bill's healthy. You know, Frank's the one that's sick. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I, some people are like, oh, that's so romantic. I mean, I guess in some Romeo and Juliet made-up world, that's romantic. Listen, if this was the apocalypse and I had some sweetie, you know, I don't care for a decade over here. And yeah, she's the love of my life. And she's sick, I'd take care of her. And if she wants, you know, her time on this planet to end, I would respect her wishes and assist with that. But I'm not going with her if I'm healthy. I mean, take a look around. I, I got to beat my high score in Tron. I got I got to learn how to play Spanish fly on that sucker over there. There's no way in hell I'm killing myself with the love of my life. Just no way in hell. All right, so let's get into the reasons why I'm done with The Last of Us. The real reason is, well, one of the reasons is that the writers, uh, the people responsible for the show have said that season two of The Last of Us is going to pretty much stick with the storyline of The Last of Us Part Two video game. The Last of Us video game is one of the best video games ever made. The Last of Us Part Two is an abomination. It's garbage, complete and utter trash, an insult to fans. And these showrunners are going to bring that game to life in season two. I'm not going to spoil anything, but if you haven't played The Last of Us Part Two and you don't know much about it, and you're digging The Last of Us television show, when you get to episode one of season two of this show, you are going to be so pissed off. You are going to lose your shit. So for that reason, I'm done. I'm done. I was a little bored this episode. I wasn't buying it. I lost my connection to these characters. I'd rather spend my hour uh, playing Gloomhaven or something, something else. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to review any more The Last of Us. I think I'm done. And I don't want to be angry next season, episode one, because I'd be angry. Uh, you know what? I've been lying to you guys. The real reason I'm done with The Last of Us TV show is because... In two weeks, we have we have season three of Picard. That's the real reason. Season three of Picard starts in Ant-Man. So I'm going to be very busy reviewing season three, the final season of Picard. So exciting. I don't have time for The Last of Us, but I do have time for Jean-Luc. All right, everybody. That's my video tonight. I hope you loved it. And I hope I didn't lose half my subs. If you're new here, please subscribe because I'm sure I lost half my subs. And if you enjoyed a fraction of this video, consider smashing that like button just like Bill and Frank should have smashed those strawberries. All right, everybody. Everybody have a great day, a great week. I will see you soon. And as always, I will see you <laughs> a little rusty on the new.